Well, it happens once every four years. Today, February 29th, is Leap Day. So what happens when babies are born on a leap year? Families say their birthdays are even more special. Is that a baby? Is that a baby? Tracy Tran is surrounded by handsome guys. Oh, I want to kiss the baby. Big brothers Jordan and Liam meet the newest member of their family. Baby Jake was born this morning at 657. Hey, Ficker, he's the third baby. Nobody pay attention to him, so he have to get some attention. Yes, he's a leap year baby, but his big debut was even more dramatic. We were ready to go into labor, and I realized it was too late, so I told him, call 911, we cannot wait anymore. And he wrapped the phone, and I had the baby in the car. Jake is now at GBMC, where about nine other babies were born on this February 29th. Penelope and nine others were born at Franklin Square. Parker and Aiden and 15 others were born at Anne Arundel Medical Center. Isn't she beautiful? Daisy Bell Ward is America's oldest leap year baby, born on February 29, 1916. She's been around for 100 years, but according to the calendar, she's just 25 years old. Mother Nature made it so that every 365 days plus five hours, 49 minutes, and a few odd seconds. That means that every year we have to compensate for one quarter of a day. So after four years, we have to add one more day. As for Jake, he will always be mama's little boy. It's a special, you know, every four years. He only have to age every four years, so. <laughs> He'll always stay young. At last check, several babies were born today at hospitals throughout Maryland. Anne Arundel Medical Center at last check had 17. University of Maryland had three. And of course, Mayor, the night is still young. Wow. We can see a lot.